Sony have finally revealed some new and big details about the PlayStation 5, so without further ado, let's get started. Full Specifications the CPU is confirmed to be an octa-core Zen 2 at 3.5 GHz with a custom RDNA 2 GPU. GPU performance is measured at 10.28 TFLOPs, with 36 CUs running at 2.33 GHz. It's interesting to compare it to the Xbox Series X, which also runs on a Zen 2 CPU and custom RDNA 2 GPU, but features 8 cores running at 3.8 GHz with 12 TFLOPs of GPU performance and 52 CUs running at 1.825 GHz. Much like Microsoft's console, the PS5 will have an NVMe SSD. The full specs of the PlayStation 5 are CPU 8x Zen 2 cores at 3.5 GHz, variable frequency GPU 10.28 TFLOPs, 36 CUs at 2.23 GHz, variable frequency, custom RDNA 2 Memory interface 16GB GDDR6, 256-bit Memory Bandwidth 448GB per second Internal storage Custom 825GB SSD I.O. throughput 5.5GB per second raw, typical 8-9GB per second compressed Expandable storage NVMe SSD slot External storage USB HDD support Optical drive 4K UHD Blu-ray drive Backward Compatibility Sony announced a while ago that the PS5 would be backward compatible with the PS4, and during Sony's The Road to PS5 stream, lead system architect Mark Cerny spoke briefly about this, offering some more details, and it looks like the console won't have complete backward compatibility with the PS4, at least at launch. Cerny confirmed that the PS5 will be running PS4 games at a boosted frequency on a system level, and that the boost will be truly massive this time around. However, he went on to explain that not all games can handle this level of boosting, which means testing has to be done on a title-by-title -title basis. As such, the implication here is that not all PS4 games will be playable on the PS5 at launch. Results are excellent, Cerny said. We recently took a look at the top 100 PlayStation 4 titles as ranked by Playtime, and we're expecting almost all of them to be playable at launch on PlayStation 5. Reduced Patch Install Times most of us have been burned by the pain of having to wait for eons for the PlayStation 4 to download, copy, and install patches, especially larger patches, before we can actually get back to playing games, especially if you're Call of Duty players. But it seems that won't be a problem with the PlayStation 5. Speaking at his talk about the PS5's tech, lead system architect Mark Cerny gave a detailed primer on the console's SSD, and all that it will make possible. And while its biggest and most useful features will be faster in-game streaming and almost complete elimination of load times, something else that it will make possible is greatly reduced patch install times. This is thanks to the PS5's SSD. There will, in Cerny's own words, be no need to make brand new files with the changes incorporated into them. That, according to Cerny, means no installs as you know them today. Off-the-shelf NVMe SSD expansion support while Microsoft made something of a controversial decision in only allowing the Xbox Series X's SSD storage to be expanded through proprietary cards, though it still allows USB 3.2 external HDDs, the PS5 is going down a different route. Recently, John Linneman of Digital Foundry took to Twitter, and speaking about the PS5's SSD confirmed that the console will allow for expansions using off-the-shelf NVMe SSDs, though they will have to be certified. Essentially, if you can find an SSD that is fast enough to support the PS5, which is a big ask because at 5.5 gigabytes per second, the PS5's SSD is very fast, then you can use it on your system. It is worth noting, however, as he points out, that there are currently no SSDs out there that are fast enough for the PS5. So while the console storage expansion is less restrictive than the Xbox Series X on paper, a lot of that will depend on how quickly such SSDs become available in the market. Fan noise won't be a problem. If you have a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 4 Pro, you must be very well aware of how loud the console can sound at times. It literally sounds like an airplane ready to take off. However, with the PlayStation 5, those annoying sounds may very well be a thing of the past. Mark Cerny, while admitting that they haven't done a very good job with the noise reduction with the PS4, has confirmed that the PS5's new power handling feature will ensure that the console will be quieter. 
Since the console's GPU and CPU use a variable frequency, the cooling solution will allow a set amount of usage power that the console demands. This will ensure that the console never goes into an overdrive state, thereby reducing noise. Instantaneous Load Times We all know the advantage of an SSD, but with the PS5's custom SSD, load times will be instantaneous. Blink and you will miss it, says Mark Cerny. The PS5's SSD has a bandwidth of at least 5GB per second and an instantaneous seek time compared to the PS4 HDD. So, yes, expect incredible reduction in loading times, which will result in a seamless gaming experience. The Tempest Engine Something else that they spoke quite a lot about is the console's audio capabilities, and how much of a step up they're going to be over the current-gen consoles. The PS5 will use a custom-built audio engine called the Tempest Engine, which is a re-engineered AMD GPU compute unit, and will enable full 3D audio. In an update on the PlayStation blog, Sony's Hideaki Nishino, Senior Vice President of Platform Planning and Management, talked about this briefly, saying that the Tempest engine will deliver a compelling audio experience for all users, not just those who own high-end speaker systems. PS5 will also allow games to offer a much deeper sense of immersion through 3D audio, wrote Nishino. Visuals are, of course, imperative to the gaming experience, but we believe audio plays a crucial role as well. We wanted to deliver a compelling audio experience for all users, not just those who own high-end speaker systems. So we designed and built a custom engine for 3D audio that is equipped with the power and efficiency for ideal audio rendering. With 3D audio on the PS5, the sounds you hear while playing will offer a greater sense of presence and locality. You'll be able to hear raindrops hitting different surfaces all around you, and you can hear and precisely locate where an enemy is lurking behind you. So, what are your thoughts on the PS5 specs? Let us know in the comments below. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.